Have you ever wondered what the word Cherokee means? Actually, I have been doing some research about the Cherokees. So have I. Well, let's learn some new things about the Cherokees. I just learned that the tribe name for Cherokee means a speaker from another language. I didn't even know that yet. Did you know that Cherokees have lived in many places? Yeah, they lived in Georgia, North and South Carolina, and Virginia. Don't forget Kentucky and Tennessee, and they got forced to move to Oklahoma. They have lived in lots of places. I bet their houses were made of river cane plaster. Actually, they were, and their houses were strong and warm and were usually near a river. I can't believe how many weapons they made. Bow and arrows, blow guns, melee, melee hand axes, wooden hoes. Wow, that's a lot of weapons they made. They had a good variety of food. They had corn beans, squash, sunflowers. They also had more food, too. They also ate berries, nuts, and fruit. They ate deer, turkey, and fish. They also ate corn, bread, soups, and stew. You know how we travel mostly by car? Well, they traveled by long dugout canoes from hollowed out logs. I wish I could tra try traveling like that. I bet the kids were bored. Speaking of the kids, I just remembered. The kids played with each other and could help hunt fish, and they played with dolls and played games, too. I didn't know that. Some of the Cherokee were famous, like Sequoia and Wilma Mankiller. <laughs> now that is interesting. Guess what? The Cherokees even speak a different language, with complex language with soft sounds. Now that's cool. Well, that is all for this report. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned more on what the Cherokees kids do for fun. Adios, amigos. Adios. Hi, I'm your host, Zeke, with my co-host, Abdi, and we will be talking about the Shawnee tribe. Shawnee tribe lived in Ohio. Kentucky and Indiana. They could live where we are. They liked to farm. They harvested corn and squash. Men went hunting for deer and turkey. We have turkey for Thanksgiving. I bet you're wondering what they used to hunt. I know what they used to hunt. They used stone tomahawks and spears. Don't forget the bow and arrows. They lived in wigwam they lived in small houses called wigwams. That sounds like something you would wear. <laughs> they used canoes to place to go place to place. How did they do that? The kids lived to play like, the kids like to play, go to school, and do chores. That sounds like something we do. The, they wore ponchos a lot. They did not wear sh shirts a lot. Some Shawnee are living in parts, Apart apartments and houses like us. Wow, I didn't know that. I hope you enjoyed this show. I hope you learned a lot of things about Shawnee Tribe. The Shawnee is a lot like us. Adios amigos. Adios, amigos. This feels so weird. Have you heard of the Miami tribe? If not, we're going to give you some facts. I'm your host, Michaela, and Robin and <laughs> Ruben's here too. We're going to be discussing the Miami tribe. You know what the tribe name meant? It got its name from a Dequista place name, Miami, which may have meant Wide Lake, and I thought that would be pretty cool. I would like to be in a tribe named Wide Lake. The Miami Indians had their original homeland in Indiana, Illinois, Michigan, and Ohio. In addition, many of them were forced to move to Oklahoma, which also made them very defensive to other people um, because they thought they were going to move them out, so they would have most likely attacked. 
They lived in villages of small oval houses with walls made of woven reeds. Each Miami village also had a large oak, larger council house. They used bows and arrows, tomahawks, and spears. They also used shields of buffalo hide to deflect enemy arrows. The Miami tribe were farming people. They ate corn, beans, and squash. Miami Into- Indian man also had hunted buffalo. To get to place to place, they used canoes by hollowing out large trees. They also rode on dogs, which I originally thought they just went on top of dogs and they rode them. <laughs> but apparently not. They used sleighs, like mushers. The children played with dolls. They played with many they also played with many bows and arrows. You can imagine how that went. Um not very good. <laughs> My Miami women wore skirts with leggings. Miami men wore breech clothes. The Miami told legends and fairy tales. Storytelling is an important part of their cultures, which I would like to think that they sat around a little campfire like we do sometimes. And so in that way, they're kind of similar. The Miami also did arts and crafts. The Miami tribe is known for their quill work, beadwork, and embroidery. Thanks for watching. We know, we hope you know more about their hunting and what they eat. Adios, amigos. The Kickaboo did no. not have houses like no. me. Have you ever heard of the Kickapoo tribe? Probably not. They were a Native American group. What does the word Kickapoo actually mean? Kickapoo means wonder, weird, right? Yeah, speaking of wondering, the Kickapoo could not go to the grocery store. They had to wander around for hours and catch their food. I could never catch my own food, but the Kickapoo didn't only catch their food. Uh, They also grew it, such as corn, squash, and beans. They had to catch their food with weapons. What did they use? They actually only used bows and arrows, spears, and clubs. There must have been a lot of kids. I wonder what they did when their parents were hunting and cooking. They played many things that might seem a little odd, like fishing, watching their parents hunt, and playing with dolls. The Kickaboo did not have houses like we have today. Instead, they had small dome-shaped houses called wickups. Yeah, that is pretty different from the houses we have today. Not only did the Kickapoo build their houses, but they, where they lived, there were a lot of them. They lived in Indiana, Illinois, Wisconsin, Michigan, and Ohio. The Kickapoo had different ways of transportation. First of all, they walked from place to place. They also rode horses, but not everyone could could walk or ride horses. For example, the babies, so they had to carry in cradle boards. That is pretty weird, but what did they wear? Well, the men wore breech cloth and leggings, but the women wore wrapped around skirts. We hope you learn more about the Kickapoo tribe and they and they ate, played, and more. Adios. Hi, I am Jordan. Today we're talking about how the Lenape lived in the wilderness. Hi, I'm Ashlyn. It must have been hard for the Lenape to live in the wilderness. Do you know what 
Guanepe means? Yes, I do. It means the people. The people lived in New Jersey and Delaware. They also live in New York and Pennsylvania. Some of the tools and weapons are bows and arrows. Can you guess the others? Yes, I can. They are heavy wooden war clubs. This tribe could not go to the store to get food. They ate corn, squash, and beans. They also went hunting for deer, elk, turkeys, and fish. Kids play with each other and they go to school. They also helped around the house and also played with dolls. Shirts were not necessary in their culture. They, ew, they need shirts. And they traveled the Delaware River. And canoes. They lived in villages of round wigwams. They used sled dogs to get around. And canoes. That's the end of this report. Hope you learned more about what they ate. What kids played with. Hope you enjoyed. Bye, friends. Today we are talking about Potawatomi. You won't believe the cool things they did. What did their tribe name mean? Well, I heard their tribe name meant fire keepers, but I don't know why. But did you hear where they lived to? Yes, they lived in Michigan State. And their houses were called wigwams. They were rectangular large lodges with bark covering. It would be cool if your house was called a wigwam. Let's change the subject. I heard they use bows and arrows. But don't forget wooden clubs, too. They ate beans, corn, squash, and fish. Yum, that sounds like a feast to me. Most people think they used horses, but they didn't until the Europeans came. But they did use canoes and dogs. Usually kids are on their electronics, but these kids weren't. These kids played, went to school, and helped around the house. Potawatomi speaks English. But some speak Potawatomi. Girls were farmers. They also did most of the child care and cooking. Women wore long deer skin dresses. The men wore breech cloths and breech clothes and leggings, deer and le leggings and deer skin shirts. Well, well thanks, thanks for, for watching. Hope, Hope you learned what food they ate and what, what the, children the children did. Hope, Hope you, have you have a great, a great day. day. Adios, Adios amigos. amigos.